What up guys and welcome back to Thomas Reacts here on the 360 experience with myself Thomas Mabaso. Guys, we are still talking about Ace Mahashule. I don't want to call him the former Secretary General of the ANC because now he is the president of his own political party. Like I said guys, I'm so sick and tired of you guys calling Ace Mahashule the former Secretary General of the African National Congress. This man is now the president of his own political party. So guys, you know that recently Ace Mahashule launched his own political party, African Congress for Transformation. So a lot of of people was caught up in the whole thing of Isma Khashule opening up his own political party but today I want us to revisit the press conference that Isma Khashule did because I believe that it was not given enough it was not given enough airtime. People did not talk about it enough because Isma Khashule mentioned a lot of interesting things here on this press conference. So guys, today I want us to watch this press conference of Isma Khashule. I want us to revisit it and to hear what some of the things that Isma Khashule said. I know that when Isma Khashule announced that there's going to be a new party, all of you guys were all caught up with the whole Isma Khashule and the new party thing. I want you to listen to what Isma Khashule is going to say and I want you I want Isma Khashule to tell you what the African Congress for Transformation has for South Africa. And Africanism as our liberating creed. Number three, we are guided by the spirit of African self-determination. Why does a political party exist? I'm not going to talk about us for now, but about a political party. A political party exists as a vehicle for socio-economic change aiming at bettering the lives of its people. A political party exists as a fortress of hope for the oppressed and downtrodden masses. Our political party will exist as a custodian of the aspirations of its people and generations to come. A political party exists and this political party shall exist to challenge all forms of oppression, discrimination, and injustices. We wish to exist to join our people and partner with them. That's why we are the People's Party. Mm -hmm. We are not going to be a party of leaders. Tell them. We are community leaders, we are activists, and that's why in our leadership, when we unveil our leadership, you are going to see people across uh, different people, disability, people living with albinism, all, 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 all people and all, all, all South Africans, black, white, Indian, colored, whatever you may call them. There has been a bitter struggle inside the African National Congress for its soul. There have been contradictions over the years for the hegemony of progressive ideas within the ANC. Certainly we have seen the oldest organization moving fast towards the right and abandoning its center-left position. The struggle for the soul of the ANC has witnessed the systematic marginalization ah. of forces to the left. We need you know guys, you know what I like? I like it when politicians come to us and especially the, the the former ANC politicians I like it when they come to us with these new political parties criticizing the ANC as if they were not in the executive this whole time <laughs> I like it guys for real you know these guys they come to us with their new parties but they are criticizing the ANC he was in the system he was in the system if what didn't happen the if if him and the ANC was never in some sort of, of a conflict or what he would still be in the ANC. He would still be the member of that party that 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 marginalizes the people. So I like it like I get like I, li I like it guys. I love sometimes when I see these guys who are in the ANC who are part of the system. So question is what did you do? When you see the, when, when you saw the ANC marginalizing people, what did you do? What did Ace Mahashule do? And the was sidelined because I stayed here in Orlando when I trained in the underground. The first time I knew how to handle an AK-47 <laughs> in Mandela's house here. 
My commanders were coming from here. Shawela, Deep Kloof, Free State, Gauté. Chris Hani was killed in cold blood. Julius Malema was expelled for demanding the return of the land. Jacob Zuma was and you can see how he mentions all these things, guys. I want, I want, I want to play it again. He says, Chris Hani was killed in cold blood and Julius Malema was expelled. It's almost as if he says that all of these things are done by the ANC. Did the ANC kill Chris Hani? Is the question that I have for, for, for Isma Khashoggi because he said Chris Hani was killed in cold blood and Julius Malema was expelled. Jacob Zuma was... You see? And we know that the, the, the ANC kicked out Julius Malema. The ANC treated... Jacob Zuma like a dog, we know that. So did the ANC take out Chris Hani? That's the question. Because right now, the way Mahashule is phrasing it, it's phrasing it as if the ANC had, had something to do with Hani dying. Is there something that Mahashule wants to tell us, guys? My commanders were coming from here. Shawela, Deep Kloof, Free State, Gauté. Chris Hani was killed in cold blood. Mm -hmm. Julius Malema was expelled for demanding the return of the land. Jacob Zuma was down like a dog for fighting white monopoly capital. A new cadre, ANC cadre that is endorsed by the DA and neoliberal handlers has emerged. <laughs> the sacrifices of our people who went to exile and those who died in the apartheid gallows must never be in vain. Yes. Our people who fought for freedom in South Africa and outside South Africa must not, their struggles and their sacrifices must never be in vain. Mm -hmm. There are two objectives why this party is going to exist. We one objective today we are we want to achieve is to announce a new organization. We are not joining any other party. I have engaged uh, leaders of different political parties, especially progressive parties uh, in South Africa, of the like-minded, the people who understand the aspirations of our people. As I've said, I've also informed uh, the leaders of the African National Congress. Number two, our objective today, to all of you South Africans, wherever you are, in villages, in small towns, in cities, urban centers, in wards across the country, is to make a clarion call to all of you to find a new political home <laughs> for the homeless, the betrayed, and the fatigued. We make a clarion call to academics, teachers, workers, nurses, doctors, our youth students, those who are still unemployed, graduates, youth elderly, taxi drivers, queue marshals, soldiers, police, traditional leaders, uneducated and educated people and all public servants churches and sinners guys do you think that right now in south africa we need more political parties guys do you think that south africa the problems that we have right now in south africa will be resolved by a politic by, by a politician do you believe that forming a political party is the only way to actually impact the life of south africans because Everyone is opening up a political party. Everyone is, is is promising people all of these things. But we've seen how how, how, how politics has failed the South Africans. We, we, we saw that, guys. We saw how politics has failed the South Africa. So, do we really need all of these political parties? How many political parties are enough in South Africa, man? How many political parties are enough in South Africa? Some of these guys, they have... That's why I'm saying, like... It, it, it feels like no everyone wants power instead of providing better life for South Africans. That's what they want. Because when you listen to Isma Khashule, Isma Khashule, the policies that that he believes in are the same policies that Julius Malema believes in. Those policies are the same policies 
that Andilam Kutama believes in. The same policies are the same policies that Karl Nias believes in. So how, how, like, why can these guys come together to form a formidable party that is going to take ANC head on, guys? Do we need more political parties? How, how many political parties are enough in South Africa? How, when will we, when will we, will we say enough is enough with those, all these political parties? Because these, these people, guys, are not going to do any difference. If there's anything, I feel like the EFF right now, it should be very worried. The EFF, I feel like it should be worried. All of these political parties that are mushrooming out of everywhere, they are going to eat from the EFF. They are going to eat from the EFF. But if you see, if you look at the EFF's policy, most of these guys that that that, that hate the ANC, their policies are aligned with the EFF policies. So I'm not saying all of these guys must go out there to join Julius Malema, but I'm saying, isn't there a way where these people can come together and form maybe a party or whatever, maybe something like John Stenazen, guys. Something that is so strong, that is so progressive, that is going to take ANC head on. Because what, what John Stenazen did, it's on the right. It's on the right, they are conservatives, it's on the right. You know, for the longest time, I've been criticizing this whole thing of John Stenazen. And, uh, and and the moon peg shot but now it seems like a good idea because even these guys who are on the live who are, who are on the prog progressive left they need to combine they need to combine there is no way these guys that they can defeat ANC whereas they themselves are scattered big these guys are scattered all over the place there is no way that these guys can defeat the ANC I mean like th there is no purpose for 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 Isma Hashule and and, and Karl Nias to have two separate political parties What's the point for, for, for Isma Khashule and Kalni has to have two separate political parties? For the longest time, I thought that if these guys are kicked out of the ANC, they will form a political party together. Or if one of these guys start a political party, they, they, they will join in together. Maybe is that the reason why uh, the, the, the Secretary General of, of Aret, the, 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 the new political party from Kalni has said that Isma Khashule is lying by saying that he, he had an, a discussion with the leadership of Areta and, 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 and the agreement was that the Areta will remain as the non-profit organization while the, act con the, 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 the African Congress for Transformation becomes a political party. That is the story that is happening right now. There's a bit of tension between Isma Khashule and Karl Nihaz because Areta says Isma Khashule is lying. We never said that Areta would remain as a non-profit organization. It is going to be a, 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 a political party, and right now it is a registered political party. And Isma Khashule now he has his own political party. Apparently, Isma Khashule is mad at Kalini House for going at, for going behind his back to open up a political party. After they have they've had the discussions that that Kalini House can do whatever that he wants to do, but that group will remain as a non-profit organization while they are forming the African Congress for Transformation. But right now. Kalnias and Areta, they are like they are dismissing all of that. So, do you believe that these guys can form a formidable? Uh, uh, they, they can, they, they can actually take ANC head on. They can actually take ANC head on with all these small and political parties mushrooming out of nowhere. What? Why? Why don't these guys get in one room and form one thing? I don't understand it. It makes no absolute. It makes no sense to me, guys. It makes no sense, honestly, guys. It makes no sense. And I have a feeling like we, st we are yet to see other political parties. So guys, we have to remember, we have so many political parties in South Africa. We have so many political parties in South Africa, man. I don't know. I don't even know what to call it. So many political parties in South Africa, man. Musi Maiman has his own political party. Vuyo Zungula has his own political party. Isma Khashuli has a political party. Julius Malema has a political party. Karl Nihaz has a political party. Andi Lemkitama has a political party. All of these guys, all of them, they have political parties. And a lot of these guys, their policies are, are the same. I mean, like, you can look at Andi Lemkitama and you can look at Julius Malema. Maybe they can adjust there and there. Maybe each one can make few few compromises, but... Julius Malema with, with Andile Mkutama, he would be so powerful, man. I still believe that divorce was never supposed to happen. Man. That divorce between Julius Malema and, 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 and Andile Mkutama was never supposed to happen, that divorce. 
So why are these guys forming all all of them? They're forming the political parties. Man, if you remember how close Kalnias and and Andile Mutlutama are, but all of them they have two political parties. Isma Khashule is close with all with, with those guys. They have their own political parties. All of these guys they have their own political parties. Do they want power or do they want to provide better services for South Africans? Man, that is the big question. Are these people simply out of power? Are, are, are these people simply to get power? Or, or they want to, 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 to better the life of South Africans? You can make that judgment, man. It's your call. Make that call. To join us in the new ship of freedom. <laughs> we are going to sail together to the true destination of freedom. Yep. And why are we here? We are here because we have suffered collective betrayal. Exactly. Ace Makashule says ANC betrayed him. ANC betrayed us. I know he said us because he wants us to feel inclusive, but this statement right here, it's on him. He's here because the ANC betrayed him. This statement, it's on him. As a people and a nation, at the hands of the people who claim to be our leaders. We have been sold out with few pieces of silver. <laughs> Many towns are collapsing, such as in the Val. If you know the Val, September 3, 1984, I was a teacher there during that time. A lot of leaders in the Val were my students. If you go to that town, if you go to Spokane, if you go to Bipatong, if you go to Pilong, if you go to Shagville, if you go to Everton, the same streets where I was staying in zone 13, zone 14, zone 11, uh, zone 3. The same streets are still the same today. <laughs> so these streets have been the same like since when? Since they were in the 70s and the 80s. And you were in the ANC for how long? 40 years you say. So what did you do about that? You're not going to you're not going to come and criticize the ANC about the problem whereas you were in the executive of the ANC. It can't be man. It can't be that you you, you criticize the ANC for for the problems that you saw while you were in the executive of the ANC. <laughs> That's why I said I like it when these guys come to us to complain about the ANC and what the ANC is not doing as if they were not part of the ANC. And none of them are telling us what is it that they did to make things better you can you can come to me and tell me that the ANC is allowing potholes all over South Africa when you were a member of the ANC what did you do about that 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 issue did you consult with anyone did you fight about that issue of potholes did you raise the concerns that if we have these potholes we're gonna have so many accidents people are going to die did you do that what did Isma Khajilu do about the about the situation in Val because he's talking about Val what did he do we as leaders, we have abandoned and forgotten our masses, the people who actually made us and who contributed to freedom, the people who freed us from bondage. The ANC of Oliver Tambo. Yeah. And I deliberately start with Oliver Tambo because it looks like uh, people have forgotten the longest serving president of the ANC in struggle and uh, inside the country and outside the country you'll remember during the years uh, 60s before the ANC was and was banned Lutuli and Tambo had to agree that the Tuli will remain in the country and Oliver Tambo will leave the country and go and mobilize and Oliver Tambo went to the west go and mobilize away I don't I don't understand this whole thing of of cadres and exiles these people were out of the country what is it that they were mobilizing out there because the average south africans are the ones who were being killed by the oppressive apartheid regime so are these people actually taking the credit for the work of average south africans because according to me i feel like average south africans are the one who fought apartheid not these guys who tell us that we were in malawi going from malawi we went to kenya from kenya we went to mozambique Guys, when the ANC guys were there in the in the exile, the average South Africans at home were getting beat up and humiliated by the oppressive regime of of of, of, of apartheid. So, 
And this whole thing of cadres of going outside, man, I don't, I don't understand it, man. I feel like sometimes I just want to to, to sit down one day, maybe with someone like Isma Khashoggi, and maybe he can properly explain it to me because I don't understand it. all of these cadres that were outside of South Africa. What is it that they were doing outside there, while the average South Africans were getting killed by by, by the oppressive apartheid regime? What is it that they were doing outside there? Because someone said, yeah, these guys were being targeted. Man, everyone was being targeted. Everyone was being targeted in the country. So while these guys were out there in the exile, what, what is it that they were doing out there? Because he says that... I think... The Tulu will remain in the country and Oliver Tambo will leave the country and go and mobilize. Mobilize what, guys? What is it that they were mobilizing? What is it that exactly that these guys were mobilizing? Because I, I, I don't want... I, I, I will never agree with the notion that the ANC is the one that fought apartheid, man. Apartheid regime was fought by average South Africans, man. Apartheid regime was fought by average South Africans. People who couldn't go out. People who couldn't just leave the country just like that. These are the people who were at home. While the, while, while the apartheid regime was actually terrorizing them. So what is it exactly that th these, these, these guys who went to exile, what is it exactly that they do? Guys, I am not really educated when it comes to these guys. If you can educate me, please educate me. Don't come here, don't come here and start bashing me. You know I hate these people who come to my comment section and start bashing me instead of educating me about some of these things. Educate me. Don't bash me. Educate me. I want to be here with you for a long time. So don't, don't, don't bash me. Educate me. If you understand what these leaders were doing there in the exile, please tell me what is it that these guys were doing in the exiles while the apartheid regime was terrorizing the communities in South Africa. Please tell me. And Oliver Tambo went to the West and he tried to get support of Western countries and he could not get support of Western countries because Western countries were supportive of the apartheid regime. And Didn't the same Western countries sanction South Africa? Didn't the same Western countries sanction South Africa? Hey, Mahashul. From there, Oliver Tambo went to the East. That's why we are working with those progressive, whether you, you want to say Cuba and Russia and China, those are our traditional people who supported us during years of struggle and many countries in Africa. The liberation movement uh, in Namibia, the liberation movement in Zimbabwe, Chama Chama in Tanzania. I feel like for a moment, Isma Hashulio forgot that he's the president of a new party. He, like in his head, I feel like he, he still had the, the secretary general thing because right now he's talking about the ANC and he's so passionate talking about the ANC. <laughs> talking about the liberation movement. Man, you have to talk about liberating us from the ANC. Stop telling us about the liberation movement and what the ANC did and the credit that they are taking for, for defeating the apartheid regime, whereas the, the average South Africans are the ones who were fighting this apartheid regime day in and day out. Stop talking about the ANC. And, yeah, and, and all other uh, liberation movements. The legacy of our leaders is split upon. With and guys, that is not my phone. It's Ace Mahashulian's phone. Eh? Impunity. State assets are privatized. What? One of the reasons why we had a fight in the ANC, and if you want to know the truth, you must ask the comrades of NUMSA. Why don't you tell us, man? Why don't you tell us? Tell us why you fought in the ANC. Tell us about the ANC's plan to, to, to privatize all the, all, all the SOEs. Tell us about the ANC's plans. Tell us about the ANC's plans to privatize the, the, the state the state owned entities, man. Don't tell us to, to ask the comrades of Numsat, go and ask why don't you tell us? You had the platform to tell us what is it that the ANC is doing behind people's back, but you are not. You must ask the comrades of Crew Association of South Africa, those who are trying to save uh, SAA, and when we're at the stage of uh, thinking that uh, we are not going to sell and privatize SAA. You, you can talk about different 
you can talk about corporatization of these assets, uh, privatization, but the fact of the matter is that uh, assets are privatized. And I said SAA is, is sold for a saw. And I, I believe that ESCOM will soon be privatized. And what must become of all those retrenched workers? The post office is growing. The judiciary is captured and compromised. There is selective justice. The media is quiet. The recommendations of the Zondo commissions are gathering dust. <laughs> and those implicated are promoted into high offices. And you know that. The 18 women who were raped by the so-called Zamazamas are still waiting for... Ah, but guys, they, we have to be honest. The Zondo Commission was a scam, man. To think that the government spent, I think, 2 billion... 2 billion rands on what? Ah, the Zondo Commission was a scam. Zondo Commission is the biggest scam, man. Zondo Commission is the biggest scam. There's how much money did the South African, South, South African government spend on Zondo Commission, man? How much money did South African government spend on Zondo Commission, man? I'm trying to, 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 to get that, man. To get that figure. How much did South African government spend on Zondo Commission? Seriously, guys, that thing is a scam. Yeah, please tell us. Look here, guys. One billion rands on what? On nothing. They spend one billion rands on what? On nothing. Nothing. The Zondo Commission did nothing. Majority of those guys who were who 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 who, who, were, who were who were implicated in some of the most heinous corruption scandals, guys, are still working free. I'm still working for you. You can look at the President Ramaphosa's cabinet, man. You still have those people who were, who, who were, who were implicated there in the Zondo Commission. You still have them in the President Ramaphosa's commission, man. Man, you remember how Agriz, man, Agriz. You remember Agriz came with the files, man. Agriz even told us the color of 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 a maid at 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 at, at Lindy Omar's book or, or, or Lindy Sisulu's house, I think. And the forensics went there, and, and, and when they came back, they, they said Akrizi was right. Akrizi told us that we were there. We were giving these people money. We were doing all these things. And what did he do? Like, guys, one billion, one billion rands of, of taxpayers' money was wasted on Zondo Commission. One billion rands. One billion rands. Ah, guys, come on, man. Please, guys, come on. One billion rands of taxpayers money was wasted on zondo commission what is it that the zondo commission can 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 point out there's nothing that the zondo commission can point out man chief justice zondo sitting there acting like he did something he did nothing he did absolutely nothing ah guys ah guys come on man i remember how hyped up people were about the Zondo Commission now talking about the accountability. The ANC was talking about the accountability then. But the African National Congress talking about the accountability. Saying that right now is the new ANC, the ANC that ANC that believes in accountability. But what did what, what happened? Nothing. Nothing, guys. I'm telling you, nothing happened. One billion, one, one, one fucking billion rands. One billion rands. One billion rands on Zondo Commission. Where are the recommendations now? Where are they? Justice in the West in, in, in West Rand. A section of politicians who have never worked have become instant billionaires and multi-millionaires while they poor Sorry guys, I will finish this stream. My son wants me so please tell me what you think about what we've covered so far please drop those comment section and please hit that like button in the most important part guys please subscribe 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 i have to go and be with my son my name is thomas mabaso and i will see you next time bye bye